I hold I'm a Riccardo Pulvara, lecturer of robotics and autonomous system within the School of Computer Science at the University of Lincoln. The one that follows is a short tutorial on our data recording pipeline developed at the Lincoln Center for Autonomous System and it used to record seven months of data as part of the Horizon 2020 Bacchus project. If you are interested in the related paper, I put a link in the video description. One of our objectives during the Bacchus project has been the collection of a long-term dataset of robotic sensor data. So to study and exploit visual appearance changes in the outdoor environment, uh, more specifically in a vineyard. And um, while doing so, we were interested in point clouds coming from our 3D lidars, as well as RGBD images uh, uh, from a couple of cameras and also navigation data such as the RTK GPS and IMU and also additional stuff. So our goal was to collect the first long-term robotic data set in the same environment across multiple months of the, of the year. Before actually deploying the robot in the field, we did an exhaustive analysis of uh, data bandwidth and writing speed performances on disk and found that traditional uh, ROSBEC tool, which is widely adopted by the robotic community for recording data, was failing to properly store synchronous data on disk. Without delving too much into the details, we identified that uh, uh, the single thread nature of a ROSBEC record is the reason why some messages were stored in a writing queue and then dropped when the queue was full, leading to data corruption and uh, data loss. For this reason, we develop internally Topic Store, which uh, store data in a MongoDB database. MongoDB is an open source, non-relational database management system that uses flexible documents instead of tables and rows to process and store various uh, forms of data. As a no SQL solution, MongoDB does not require a relational database management system so it provides an elastic data storage model that enables user to store and query multivariate data types with ease. MongoDB documents or a collection of documents are the basic units of data. Formatted as binary JSON, these documents can store several types of data and be distributed across multiple systems. So the objective of this tutorial is to provide you an hands-on experience on how we define which data we want to store, how we actually store the data, inspect it, and querying it using Topi Store. Okay, so the first step that we have to do when we want to record the data um, is actually starting the, the, the daemon that launched the database uh, instance on our computer and uh, listen to all the messages that uh, are gonna come to the computer. So for doing that, then we, we can actually invoke uh, uh, ROS topic store by, by ROS, doing ROS topic store, start database. In this one, we uh, will actually pull our uh, topic store Docker container and launch the instance. And uh, it will open um, a daemon on a specific uh, door. In parallel, just for the sake of this uh, um, tutorial, we can uh, uh, pretend to have a robot running uh, that I'm actually simulating by playing a Rosbeck that has been collected during one of our um, Data, uh, data collection uh, session. Okay, so right now we actually have uh, the Rosbeck uh, playing and we can see that we have like a list of topic that are actually published on the ROS network. What we have to do now is actually to define a, a file that contains the list of the topic that we want to uh, record. And uh, this file is a YAM file, and it looks like uh, the one that I put here, where we specify that the recording method needs to be the database 
and uh, he used the default configuration that we are going to check now and a list of topics. For example, for the sake of this experiment, we are recording like the scan topic uh, that is obtained by 2D LiDAR. Then we have like one camera and we record the, the strength information of the camera and also the RGB topic as well as the depth topic and the odometry and IMU information coming from the same camera. And all of this is actually replicated for a second camera. Then we have the odometry uh, coming from the GPS, IMU data, and the 3D point cloud coming from the from the hoster. I mentioned like a uh, uh, default configuration of parameter for topic store, which basically only defines where the database the database is going to be stored and like on which IP address and on which door. So if we ever want to connect to a database that is uh, remotely stored, we need to modify this IP with the uh, host IP of the machine on which the uh, database is stored on. So we have our server that is running, we have our robot that is performing his own operation. What we can do now is actually launching the um, the recording um, step by using cross run like our custom launch file, which is uh, launch public store. By doing so, we will see that we have like a number of workers which subscribe to all the topics that we listed in our uh, um, convict file that we just saw, and then we write them uh, on disk as a MongoDB um, collection. So after our robot finish is uh, execution, we may want to interrupt the recording, and this one can be easily done by, by killing the, the console. Then we will wait that the writing is finished, and then we can uh, inspect our data set with MongoDB Compass. Okay, so the next step now is actually to visualize and get an idea of what are the data that we collected. We can leave the database uh, uh, running, so I will not close this terminal, and we can open uh, Mongo Compass. Mongo Compass is just a, a graphical interface that allow us to visually inspect the collection uh, stored inside a MongoDB instance. And I will collect it to the local instance that I have here with a specific uh, URI string that defines that the database is hosted on my local host at this specific uh, uh, port. And we press connect. We will get a list of collection here. And a topic store is the, actually the, um, the database that we care about. And uh, KG recording is our uh, collection. Inside, we have a list of document. And more specifically, we have like 572 documents, which contains the various information that we listed in our config file. So we have information regarding the 2D leader, two camera, GPS, IMU, odometry, 3D point cloud from the hoster, current robot pose, and the TF, uh, uh, the TF3. And we can expand each of these line to see uh, various field, like specifically now I'm looking at the 2D LiDAR from the two LiDAR mounted at opposite corner of the platform. And uh, these are basically the ROS messages that we would see by echoing a topic in console. And uh, the same for the camera, apart from like the binary data, like a image. So this one doesn't really provide any insight. Um, to be honest, I also compressed this image. Anyway, uh, the real advantage of using this system compared to uh, Rosebag 
is that it allow us to query this data uh, for uh, spatial uh, information and time. So for example, uh, I said that now we have uh, 572 documents. We may want to filter data by GPS uh, position. So for example, we want uh, uh, all the documents that have been connect, uh, collected between two specific uh, um, GPS latitude without uh, doing uh, like a crazy stuff. So we can potentially define a query where we say that we want to retrieve all the data whose field for GPS fixed latitude needs to be, for example, greater and equal than a specific value, for example, is this one. But at the same time, it needs to be, um, yeah, this is a mistake. We need dollar logo. It needs to be also less than equal than something else. And then we can look for the result. And we know that there are in our collection 85 data matching this query. And we can also add additional uh, stuff, uh, for example, on the longitude. Mongo Compass is cool because we also like to define some aggregation. So we can actually uh, create step by step our pipeline and we can actually um, see how from uh, the entire collection, our the number of result uh, goes down only to the final query that we want to do. So the next step, it would be to uh, take the output of this visual inspection of Mongo Compass, put it into uh, a script that we brought to extract data from the MongoDB into um, a ROS bag. So we start from like ROS data on the robot, we go into a, a MongoDB database, and then we go back to uh, a ROSBEC, which is actually the most preferred format for a robotics engineer. Okay, so the last bit of this tutorial is actually to extract data uh, from the MongoDB uh, collection into a ROSBEC uh, that can be uh, exploited by any, uh, let's say, robotic tool like RQT or Arvid. Uh, in order to do that, I was I just show you like how to prototype a query into MongoDB. Um, the way we do the extraction is by using like a Python script, which is sort of R coded and probably not the best style, uh, but still we we can define like some parameter like the latitude and the longitude from which the data needs to be extracted from and for how long we want the data, for example, like 10 seconds and like the collection from which extract the data. And we create a connection to our uh, local instance of MongoDB running on uh, my computer at the moment, but uh, it can be also connected to a remote server. And we define uh, like uh, the query similarly to what we saw in uh, uh, Mongo Compass. And, and then the, we invoke um, the convert script uh, from a topic store, which extract the documents from the collection and create um, a, a ROSBEC. This ROSBEC needs to be re-indexed in order to align all the uh, data based on their timestamp. And this one is also part of, um, of the script. So while keeping the server running in this uh, console, we can actually invoke um, the QueryDB script, which uh, um, hopefully it will not take too much time, but it creates a connection to the server to the instance of MongoDB, it will look for all the um, collection present in the, um, in the database. And for each of these collection, it will extract the data starting from 
the position that we specified for up to 10 seconds. So we actually found the ID, the ID of the uh, one of the collection, and then we invoke uh, from Python, like this script, uh, passing this the this, uh, this string in which we also the specify we want a projection over the GPS file, odometry, house, robot pose, TF, and the camera, and we exclude every, everything else. And in output, it will generate like a rose bag on my uh, desktop folder. So you can see here in the progress bar that the data are actually fetched. We found 147 documents that match our query. They are extracted into the Rosbeck, which will gonna be now ray indexed. So I hope that uh, you found the tutorial uh, useful. Uh, if you would like, to discover more about Topic Store, just drop me an email. Um, and we really hope in Elkas that this tool may be beneficial for uh, a lot of uh, research groups around the world. Thank you for watching.